Hi, I'm Kenny. I'm here to show you how to skin and prepare a rabbit for the for cooking. Well, we'll need to point out, obviously, that this rabbit has been paunched in the, and uh, the bladder cleared in the field, and that's how you'd expect to see it when you take it to the kitchen. So the first thing I'm going to do is take the feet off. So just on the knee joint, that way, which in your fingers. Just there. The skin of the rabbit, there's no right way, there's no wrong way, you've just got to get the skin off. The way I prefer to do it is just to work around the waist. Pop our hand in under the skin, work our way around all the way around the back and then go from the other side exactly the same way and we should at some stage meet in the middle. Once you're all the way through there should be a gap, you can see that there, take a sharp knife, pass it through and cut the skin. That then gives you the back and front half. Back end all the way over. If you do get any bits that are sticking, just use the knife just to ease them away. This is much easier on fresh rabbits and young rabbits. The older the rabbit and the older the rabbit, the, the worse this is. Try and find the, the joint in the elbow there, pop your thumb through the hole. And then that just creates a bit for pulling that off. Don't worry about the skin on there at the moment. Same with this side. And just pop that off. That's it. So what you'll find now is that that's over the tail. What you can do at this stage is with a sharp knife, just like a V shape in either side. Work your way down in between the pelvis. And that should just pull away with the tail. That's it. Now we'll do the front end exactly the same way. A bit of a fiddle with the front legs. Again, sticky bit here. Find the leg, pop it through. Same at the other side. All the way forward. A bit of flesh getting caught there. And that's us ready to cut the head off. That's it. Now what we have to do now is make sure that the back passage is clear. I'll just pop in here. Do a little bit of put there. And we're just going to split the pelvis right down the middle. Sit there and then just Take your finger down through there and take any bits out that are left. And that's the back passage cleared. Right, what we're going to do now is the kidneys have been left in and we're going to take the heart and lungs out. 
and keep the kidneys and the liver had it not been put away when it was punched to make into patty or whatever. Keep them there. Take out the heart and lungs which is just beyond the diaphragm here. Relatively easy task, just burst the diaphragm with your fingers. Pop your hands, two fingers right into the front. Get a hold of the heart. That's the heart there and some of the lungs here as well. Obviously you can keep the heart again for making patty. Cut away the diaphragm. And that's that, nice and clean. We'll just tidy all these little bits up. There we are, ready for jointing. And I'll show you how to do that now. So what we're going to do is basically break it into three parts. Rear section, cut in half here, and the front section with the shoulders on it, just to get it inside the pot. It's not everybody that's got a great big pot. So what I want to do is just cut just across here. And then split between here. And that's the two rears together. We can take the shoulders off just by cutting down through here. Like that. And then straight down the front of the ribcage, just here. So there we go, one skinned jointed rabbit ready for the pot.